I've been going to church here for three years, and I've been sitting in there in the auditorium every Sunday, listening and listening and listening. I've watched countless family members, you know, that, that have started coming here, and they've started getting baptized, and I watched my wife get baptized maybe a month after we started coming here. Her sister had invited her over here, and she loved it. I came, and, and, and I liked it, but I knew that the minute my parents found out that it wasn't going to be an easy road, and, and it wasn't. When they figured out and knew, that's when the enemy started throwing the, the darts and the bullets, you know, and my dad mainly didn't accept it, and I still don't think that he's accepted it today. It was the first time that I hadn't felt loved ever by them. It was like a, a wall had just gotten put between us. Me and my dad had actually gone, I want to say it was close to a year, it might have been just under a year without talking, without speaking, holidays, birthdays. It had me to the point where I actually thought about divorce for the first time. That pain, you know, it, it, it held me back uh, for three years. I was coming to church and I was listening to, the, to Patrick and, and, and getting the message, but then I, I, I would block it out. It was like I didn't even come to church. It was powerful on Sunday, but the rest of the, the week it was don't do anything to offend my parents or try not to talk about it, try not to bring it up message after message after message. And then uh, this year, Patrick had started his, his sermons on being steadfast for the Lord. And then he had talked about, you're stuck in your situation because God wants you to learn from it. That Sunday, it was the first time in three years that I'd felt like he was talking directly to me. And so as I began to pray, he started to unfold my life in front of me. He had showed me my situation with my father. Probably the single hardest part of my life was was dealing was dealing with that pain of rejection, of not feeling loved, and it was the first time I, you know, he made me feel like I, I wasn't his son or, or I wasn't worthy. Jesus had showed me that, that pain and all that. And at the same time, he had showed me his love, his spirit, and what he had done for me. I was in my truck and I'd pulled over on the side of the road and, and I just began to pray and, and ask God to forgive me and to take everything away and, and that I was giving it all to him. And, and I, I can just remember crying and crying and crying and, and I was on the side of the road and I could feel feel him. It just felt like he had embraced me. When I had stopped crying, it was like an overwhelming peace, joy. And I just remember I couldn't stop smiling driving all the way home. All it took was for me to remain steady for him and allow him to show me. That joy that has brought me has been unbelievable. You know, I'm still going through it a little bit but not so much now that I have the understanding. It's, it's all been let go of on my end. It doesn't affect me anymore. As far as my parents, I pray for them daily, you know, and I hope that I can be that light that he's calling me to be. I don't think religion matters. I think what matters is that you know Jesus. To have the understanding of who he is and what he's done for, for everyone is what's most important. Seek out Jesus, and he'll lead you to where you need to be, and nothing else matters. I want you to feel what I'm feeling, and everybody should have that.